Hey guys, on today's episode, we are gonna show you how to identify the distributor in your Classic Mini. Really common modification on a Mini is to convert from points to an electronic ignition system, similar to one like this, like we sell. And if you are looking to do this, uh, you need to first identify which distributor is in your car. Uh, so we're gonna go over to the bench and we'll describe all the different distributors that came in Minis and how to identify the one in your vehicle. So before you buy an electronic distributor kit, uh, you need to know which distributor you have in your car. Now, Minis came with several different types of distributors. Uh, there were three main ones throughout the years. Uh, these were the 25, the 45, and the 59D. Now, uh, there were a couple of different options, uh, different other distributors that came on Minis, but these are the main ones. The uh, 25 was the first one to come out in 1959 all the way to 1974. Uh, from there, it changed over to the 45D that went from 74 up to 80, and then from 80 up until the introduction of the SPI Mini was using the 59D distributor. Now, the way to identify these, uh, several different ways. Uh, the first and easiest is that on an OEM distributor, it will most likely have a stamp on the side of it here uh, that will say what the code is right here. It says 59D4, this is a 59D distributor. Uh, really easy to identify that way. However, sometimes it's hard to see um, if they're installed in the engine or, um, or if it's an aftermarket distributor that didn't have this stamp. Uh, so the second thing you want to do is to just visually inspect from the outside. Now, this is a 59D distributor. You can tell because it has a little bit more of a squared off body here. Uh, the cap as well is a little bit more squared off on the top. Um, the clamp that holds it to the engine block, you can see right here, it's sort of a Y-shaped clamp with one bolt that goes in and, and holds it in tension against the block. The earlier 45D distributors have a very similar look from the outside with a more squared off uh, cap and body. However, the clamp uh, goes around the outside here. It has a tension bolt on the side as well as a bolt that goes into uh, the block. Uh, so visually, that's a way of inspecting it. The uh, third way of inspecting it, if you do remove the distributor, is to look at the drive gear at the end here. This is a 59. You can see that it has a thicker drive gear. Uh, right here, this is what uh, turns the distributor around. If you look at the earlier uh, 25 or 45D distributors, you can see that this drive gear here uh, is a very thin sort of blade looking type. A 59D physically will not go in in the same spot um, to, the, uh, to the 25 and the 45. So go initially based on uh, the year that your car is um, and then make sure to visually check. Now minis get modified quite a lot uh, and there's a high probability that your car um, doesn't have the distributor that came factory in it. So it's always worth visually checking and making sure uh, before you order one of these kits. Now also stay tuned for a future video. We're gonna go over exactly the, uh, the uh, benefits of an electronic distributor, um, why you wanna get rid of these points and how they work.